set burning on the golden shore Never seen a view like this before The stars, they shine like diamonds in your eyes Black dress on, you got me hypnotized I keep feeling away, I keep feeling away, I keep feeling away about you No, I can't look away, no, I can't look away, no, I can't look away cause I need you My heart keeps beating like an island drum Cause you're my only one You make me feel so good The champagne stars You make me feel like I'm forever young Cause you're my only one You make me feel so good Feel so good What's going on guys? I hope this video finds you happy and healthy. It has been a hot minute since I have talked with you guys about health and fitness and health related stuff. So now I'm very excited to get back to health and fitness videos and I'm very excited to show you guys how I'm getting back on track with my healthy eating after the holidays because let me tell you, <laughs> I have not been paying attention to what I've been eating. I've just been enjoying all the food. My husband likes to buy me a lot of treats and chocolate and all the things that I like and I just eat all of it. <laughs> so I need to rein it in. I need to start tracking what I'm eating. So I want to show you guys how I'm approaching that after the holidays. I uh, do this method of what I'm going to show you today a couple times a year. I don't um, like pay attention too much to what I eat in terms of the calories and portions. I just want to make sure that I'm eating healthy. But um, a couple times a year, I got to rein it back in because, listen, I have a very big appetite, okay? For those of you who know me personally, I just can eat a lot. <laughs> and so I need to pay attention to my portion controls now and kind of tighten things up a little bit. By the way, I don't weigh myself. I really don't know how much I weigh. I have an idea of how much I weigh, but the scale like freaks me out sometimes. So if you guys, I have a tip for you. If you want to um, lose a little bit of body fat, lose a bit of, little bit of weight, take progress pictures. I'll link another video down below that I did a long time ago about how to lose body fat effectively. Um, so you can check that out if you want to. But you guys already saw my coffee this morning. I'm still putting my collagen powder, my favorite collagen protein powder in my coffee in the morning. And then um, instead of lemon water in the morning, you guys saw I, I'm putting BCAAs in my water. Um, I'm having issues with my teeth recently with sensitivity and my enamel. And I just was worried that the lemon juice was hurting my teeth even more. So I flavor my water in the morning with a little bit of BCAAs. The BCAAs I showed you aren't exactly like the healthiest. So um, I, there is one on Amazon that my husband and I are gonna buy as soon as we run out of these ones. And I'll link that too um, and show you guys what what that is. Since it's been a while since I've actually like talked to you guys about stuff going on, this is how my skin's looking now. I'm still on Accutane. I've been on Accutane since August, so this must be going into the fourth month of Accutane. So for those of you who don't know, I've been on Accutane a while. Um, I have hormone balance issues because I've been on the birth control for many years. And so the birth control pill, I'm off of that now. And I've been off of it for a year and a half now and I'm still trying to regulate my periods off of it. And so a lot of the foods that I eat um, I try to help support my hormonal health and my period health too. So let's get into the rest of the day. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna show you my lunch, but just don't mind him in the background watching TV because I, I can't tell him to turn off the TV. That's kind of mean. So J just keeping it real, you guys, okay? So I will show you what I'm gonna have uh, for lunch. And I wanna show you how I do it. Let me set you down. Also just got done with my workout as you saw, so I got I got wet hair. So what I'm gonna have for lunch is a, one of my um, protein pudding recipes that I'll show you. But everything that I'm eating today, I'm tracking in MyFitnessPal. And if you don't know what that is, I highly recommend that you try it out. It's an app that you can get on your phone that a lot of fitness people use. So that app, that's what it looks like right there with a the little person doing the splits in the air. So 
that's the app that I track all of my food. And like I said, the reason why I need to track my food is to kind of rein in and see how much I'm eating and uh, what portions I should be eating because I just have a big appetite. So this is kind of what the front page looks like. That video that I mentioned before with how to lose body fat effectively, I go through how to use the app MyFitnessPal. So everything that I'm putting in my mouth today, all the meals that I'm making, I'm gonna put in MyFitnessPal. And then I'll also put the calories um, on the screen as well as like the macro breakdown of what I'm eating today. So you can kind of see um, how many calories that I am eating throughout the day. what I use. I get this big thing at Costco for I think it's $29. And this has been my favorite protein powder for a while. I was um, trying this other protein powder from Garden of Life and um, another protein powder, but this is the my favorite one so far. It tastes the best to me. Um, it has a bunch of like superfoods in it too. It's vegan. Um, if I could eat whey, um, it would be easy. There's like lots of nice, good tasting whey protein powders out there, but it's been really hard for me to find a vegan protein powder. Um, this one I've had good success with. It mixes really well. Um, I made, I make protein pancakes, protein waffles out of this too. And then today, like I showed you, I just made like a pudding out of it. So you just, um, add a bunch of, of this protein powder, whatever serving you want. I do two servings because I need more protein. I'm a little behind on my protein intake today because of my fitness pal, I, can, I know that. Um, and so I put two servings of this in my bowl and then I just mix some almond milk until I get like a pudding consistency. And then I just put a bunch of toppings on top and you saw the toppings that I put on top. Blueberry is really high in antioxidants and I love peanut butter. So the combination of like peanut butter and blueberries is like, Mighty fine. And then uh, I put pumpkin seeds on top because I do something called seed cycling, which a bunch of you already know that I do for to help balance my hormones. So I'm on pumpkin seeds right now. I put a little bit of cinnamon because also cinnamon is anti-inflammatory, high in antioxidants, and it's really delicious. I know it looks really weird, but it's very, very good. So I'm gonna eat this. Um, just so you guys know too, you can do the same thing. Like if you want a little bit more carbs, you can um, put like make a protein oatmeal. So I'll do that a lot too. I'll make my oatmeal and then, and then after that, you put the protein powder in the oatmeal and mix it up. Don't do the opposite. Don't put your oats, your dry oats, and then the protein powder and then try to make it. It's gonna, it's gonna all clump up and be a disaster. So you wanna actually cook your oats first and then um, add the protein powder in later and mix it up. So I do that a lot too. But today I wanted a little bit lower carb because we just had New Year's and we've I've been eating a lot of food. I'm not that hungry today. So this will satisfy me. The other thing too is I use protein powder because protein is the, the macronutrient that's really hard to get into your diet. I think that's the most challenging macronutrient to, to get into your diet. So, you know, I don't really have like a magical number of how much protein you should be eating. Everybody's different. You kind of just have to play with it. I'm going to eat this. And then uh, in a little while, Josh and I are going to go over to the unit. So I'll show you like a quick little tour of what our unit's looking like now, because we're coming along with this renovation.
so it's quite a few hours later. It's dinner time, and I'm gonna make some chicken thighs. And I make this recipe quite often. It's really easy. I've posted on my Instagram before too. And I'm just gonna preheat the oven to 400. But before I do that, I just set out the chicken thighs. So I wanna let them come up to room temperature just for like a half an hour or so. And that way they can bake a little bit better. So preheat the oven to 400 and then I'm gonna throw them in there for half an hour. And then um, just for the last two minutes, I'm gonna put them on broil because then that way I can like crisp up the edges. But my favorite seasoning to use on chicken is a combination of uh, pink salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. It's like a magical combination. You just, you just sprinkle um, all that evenly over the chicken and it comes out like perfect. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do some veggies, butternut squash, some onion, and some broccoli. I have a story highlight on my IG telling you guys how to chop up a butternut squash that I found is the easiest way to chop up a butternut squash. So I'm gonna put all this in my fitness pal also. So I'm all caught up with, you can see that. I'm all caught up with entering everything that I've eaten today. I'm a little behind on my calories and my macros just because I haven't been that hungry today from all the eating that I've done for New Year's. And yeah, last night my husband and I had date night and we went out for Mexican food. So that's what happens to me a lot. Like if I eat a lot the day before, I'm not that hungry the day after. So, um, but we'll see. I'll probably make up for it at dinner because I normally have a pretty good appetite by the time dinner comes rolling around. And normally like my appetite's not as good in the morning. I think a lot of that has to do with my work schedule where, you know, I work 12 hour shifts. So like I have to get to work by 6.45 in the morning and I haven't had breakfast yet. So I normally don't eat breakfast till like 10 in the morning with my first break. And so my body is really trained to like really not eat until 10 or 11 in the morning. And then um, that with like my calories are consumed more towards the end of the day just because of that. So anyways, got my, got my intake in there and yeah, I'll kind of show you how I prepare this dinner. And then a little bit of a tip, if you're like, more on the lower carb side like my body responds better or it responds better to a like a lower carb diet i feel better on a lower carb diet i have more energy some people's bodies do better on a higher carb diet but i just feel better when my carbs are more in check um and so i probably won't have a carb for with my dinner i'll just have this butternut squash which has quite a bit of carbs in it for a vegetable and i'll have dessert and that'll be like my carb source for tonight so that's kind of like if you're wanting a lower carb intake um, and you're looking for a swap, like instead of maybe having a carb for dinner, you can have dessert instead. So, all right, let's get on with it. Wanna love you like we're dreaming And we'll never stop believing Wanna ever have this feeling all for you if you use my fitness pal and you try to plug in like chicken and squash and like whole foods sometimes it's hard to plug those things in because like it's not just gonna give you like a definitive chicken option you have to choose from a whole bunch of them when you like plug it in when you when you search for like chicken thighs and then it'll give you like an option of whether you're measuring in ounces or I don't know the units of measurement are all different too so I say all this to say that sometimes it's hard to plug in different food items, especially if they're whole foods. So I just want to remind you guys, if you are 
gonna track what you eat. It's just like kind of like a guesstimate. So you sort of know where you are in your eating and you kind of know what you're, what you're eating and how much you're eating, but it's not gonna be exact. Um, the only time you really wanna be exact with exactly how much food you're putting in your body is if you're like doing a fitness competition or you're doing a bikini competition or something like that where you're like pro at some sort of like physique competition. Other than that, this is just sort of like giving you an idea, giving me an idea of like how much I'm eating. So for the butternut squash, for instance, you know, whatever I eat tonight, I'll just kind of estimate whether it's a cup or two cups of butternut squash that I eat. And then I'll plug that into my fitness pal and just see what it gives me. But I'm not going to like track. I'm not going to put in like the amount of oil that I put on the vegetables. I'll keep that kind of in the back of my mind, but it's just an estimate of how much I'm eating. I actually don't track the vegetables that I eat. So I don't put in like broccoli, the actual salad greens. I don't put that into my fitness pal because the calories are so minor, so minuscule that it doesn't really matter. And honestly, the fiber that's in those items like balances out or like cancels out the calories. So I don't uh, calculate, I don't put in my fitness pal my vegetables. I will if I want to know how much fiber I'm eating and how much fiber I'm getting in a day, but other than that, I don't. Or if I really want to know like the micronutrients that I'm eating, I'll plug uh, my veggies into my fitness pal. But other than that, I don't track veggies. I don't track like the salad greens or anything like that. So just wanted to um, give you guys that tip if you are going to use my fitness pal. And I'm going to finish up dinner. I'm lost in your energy. So I used coconut aminos to saute my broccoli. I love using coconut aminos to saute veggies in. I do it all the time. Coconut aminos, if you haven't had them before, are just, it's basically, it um, tastes like a teriyaki sauce, but it's like way healthier for you. And then same seasonings as the butternut squash and the chicken. So garlic powder, uh, paprika, I don't think I'll put that in this time, but onion powder, salt, pepper, magic combination by the way the uh, garlic powder and the onion powder with the salt and pepper oh my gosh it's magical so i always normally saute my veggies with these uh, seasonings and then sometimes paprika and then always coconut amino so if you haven't tried these combinations out go ahead and do that it is going to heighten your veggie game that's for sure it's like I did weigh out um, the chicken thighs as best as I could on our scale, so I kind of have an idea of how much protein I am eating. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I am gonna see you back for dessert. Okay, so to end the day, I'm gonna have some chocolate chip cookies. So let me show you what they look like. Okay, so I made them last night and they are delicious. I even saved the package that um, they came in because I wanted to show you guys. I knew I'd be filming today. This is what the package looks like. I got this at our local grocery store, grocery store Fred Meyer. I don't know if you have a Fred Meyer by you, um, but if you do try to find these or I'm sure they're on Amazon, but these are like healthy chocolate chip cookies. Um, they have like wholesome whole ingredients. They even have like organic flaxseed meal and butternut squash. So I was kind of skeptical on how they taste because they are like healthy. They're gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, all like the free things. And they're really easy to make. So I made them last night and I had like three of them last night because they were so good. And this is what they look like. I am gonna probably have, I'm gonna have at least two tonight, probably three, maybe even four, I don't know. 
just whatever I feel like because I know I'm behind on my calorie intake for today. And that's one of the beauties of tracking your calories uh, with my Fitness Pal or whatever app you decide to track your calories with or if you just want to like handwrite whatever you eat in a day and see how many calories you're eating because if you're not tracking you really don't know and if you've never tracked before especially if you've never tracked your calories before you really have no idea of how much you're putting in your body it's pretty eye-opening if you've never tracked before so highly recommend that you do that or if you have tracked your calories before and you haven't in a while and you want to get back on track with your healthy eating and you want to make sure you have enough protein um, and you have enough of your macronutrients so your protein fats and carbs um, highly recommend that you track you document everything that you eat in a day and kind of see where you're at um, I'll put the final calories and macros here that I ate today um, it'll probably be like more on the lower side I forgot to tell you guys I did sip on a little bit of Sometimes I'll, I'll sip on a little bit of tequila or a Truly at night, something like that while I'm cooking or a glass of wine just to kind of unwind. So I had a little bit of tequila in here, just like uh, an ounce and a half of tequila I was sipping on. So I don't know, I just enjoy that. Um, uh, and you can track that also. It's probably about around 100 calories, so I'll include that in the calorie breakdown too. Um, but you know, uh, you can track it and record all your calories and things like that. But also remember to listen to your body. If you're more hungry some days, eat. If you're less hungry other days, you don't have to eat that much. Um, because I really feel like your body does is, does a really good job in telling you if you need to eat more or need to eat less. So really try to listen to your hunger cues. That's what I try to do. And like I said, like today's Sunday, Saturday was yesterday. We I ate a lot yesterday and last night. So I just didn't really feel like eating a ton today. Um, I know that my maintenance calories are the amount of calories that I have in a day to keep my weight um, as it is, is about 2,300 calories. So I need about 2,300 calories to maintain my current weight. Um, and I don't know, I haven't calculated my calories yet. I might be close to that today just because I always get hungrier at night. Um, and depending on how many cookies I have, <laughs> I'll tell you on the screen here how many I ended up having. Um, and if I have anything else tonight, I will put it on the video, but uh, that'll be it actually for me talking to you guys. So I hope that this video helped give you some ideas on how to get back on track with your healthy eating if you need some help with that. If you have any questions, obviously comment down below. If you have any other comments about the video or any questions for me, make sure you subscribe down below for more like healthy living tips. Um, I like to show you guys how I live a healthy lifestyle while working full time as an ICU nurse. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you hit the like button because it really helps me in the YouTube algorithms if you liked this video. And I'm looking forward to many other videos in the future. And always remember to be kind to yourself.